Hello Power Users, Zbigniew Fukowski here and in today's episode, like it was stated in the title, I want to show you how to create a shape which will have linear gradient. This is a really simple yet effective tool to make your apps look professional and I highly recommend it. It's quite an easy if you know what you are doing. So let's start. Let me show you how it will look. Let me grab my app. It's here. Okay. This is how it looks. I already have my shape created. Okay, so we can start. Okay, so first let's go to the insert pane and in there let's go to right HTML. I always forget where it is. That's why I'm using the search. Let's make it a little bit larger. And let's start from the HTML text. Let's get everything which is, is there and cancel it. First, we need to start our HTML. So in order to do this, let's go with the div style. Then we want to set the height because the height we will be will be changing and we don't want a scroll bar, which is in HTML text by default, I think. So we need to set this height. Let's go with the double quota. Let's let's um, to close the the HTML. Now let's start and let's place an attribute which will be self because we will be referencing to to ourselves. Let's go with the minus one which will prevent the scroll from appearing. And let's close this. Close this and let's start and the the px is is just to make the pixels number of this of our height which will be equal to our height minus one first we want to set the opacity to have this this kind of effect this is not the the, the strong color it it has a kind of opacity implemented you can implement it as well this is of course not obligatory but i like it so it will be only one line Let's go with the 0.8, but you can you can experiment with this. As you can see, I have my linear gradient in my component to be a little bit transparent. As you can see, you can see the background here. Okay, so we have opacity check. Next, we will be using the background option. We will use the linear gradient, which we have. And we will take the colors. For, uh, to imitate this one, we will go with two right. So you can also, of course, start as, as you as you wish. You can go from the left, from the top, from the bottom, as you like. Okay, I will just type my color. Type my another color. I'm using three colors. You can use as many as you like. But the three I found that there. They are ideal for this pink, which is the actually the power platform, power up the colors of the logo. So those are, those are exactly the colors which I grabbed from the logo with using Canva. But I'm not sure if they are 100% actual, but they are very, very similar. Okay, so this will for now, we will close the div. We will close this one and we'll close our text. And as you can see, we have already operation, operational HTML text, but as you can see, there is still a scroll bar. To remove this scroll bar, of course, we will need to secure the padding because the padding is by default created and as you can see you have a color already and with this color what you can achieve is this kind of component i've created in my components this is exactly the component and when you click something it changes color it changes color and this color is actually based on also on, on my on my colors, but the opacity is greater. So when I click something, I remove some opacity from this exact HTML, and this 
this uh, will highlight the, the part of application in which I am. So this is a great tool. I really enjoy to creating. I really enjoy creating this component and I hope you will create a lot of great components yourself. So if it helped you, you can sub, like, etc. Oh, 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 and I, I forgot. You can, you can create your gradients by using some kind of site. As you can see, this is the first, first kind, first site which was opened when I wrote the gradient, you can get show all the gradients. And if you like something, you can just go here and copy the gradient and go with the linear gradient from left to right. Yeah, that's it. Hope, hope that helped. Hope this quick tutorial was, was efficient for you. And if yes, you can sub, like, etc. I have thousands, I mean, not thousands, I have hundreds of other videos about Power Platform in which I'm, I'm explaining uh, difficult as uh, simple topics. I'm also answering, answering to a lot of errors in Power Platform. So check those. I hope this something in the left or right part of my screen. So thank you. Zbigniew Fukowski out.